Today we're going to talk about pessimism's poison, and it is a poison that absolutely can foul our lives. John Templeton, a man that I had the pleasure of meeting a few years ago, said this, Great teachers down through the ages have described the importance of our mind and being master over our thoughts. In Romans 8, verse 25, it says the same thing. We are hoping for something we do not have yet, and we are waiting patiently for it. When you hope for something that you don't have yet in your mind, you tend to attract it to you. When you believe it's impossible, you absolutely push it away. You block it. Pessimism is an intellectual poison. Negativity can harm your heart and impair your life if you let it ongoing. So if you've allowed negative thoughts to creep in, and boy they do, to creep into your mind, here is your assignment. Start spending more time thinking about your blessings, and meditating on the promises of God's actions working in and through your life. Train yourself to hope in God and to look forward to the wonderful ways that God's promises will be fulfilled in your life. This day, and in fact every day, is a gift from God, and God has filled it to the brim with possibilities. But if persistent pessimism robs you of the energy to fully grasp what you have in this day, then you need to overcome it. Otherwise, you'll never be able to go down your to-do list and check things off. Rather, it will pile up and it will overcome uh, your well-being. So today, I'm asking you to be careful, to direct your thoughts toward positive things and refuse to swallow the poison that is pessimism. Instead, drink in all the goodness that God has to offer and then wait patiently for God's blessings. God has promised for those that hope in God, and you'll be wonderfully pleasantly surprised how much comes to you.